the way I got that ball. <laughs> Coach, you get right. a game ball? Uh, I got a game ball. Congratulations. So everybody got one. No. So, <laughs> Can you take us through just the message to the team and kind of the – That's a long message, but there's a, there's a lot to un unwind. But, you know, the, the finish is always better than the beginning. And uh, biblically speaking, and in this season, and as we – uh, told them several days ago, you know, uh, nobody cares about nine and two this week. You know, they care about this week and trying to get to that 10th game. So uh, really, really thankful and proud of uh, everybody, the hard work. Um, the seniors have been nothing short of amazing. Um, their commitment and their belief, their leadership, uh, you know, 10 games, I think that's the 19th time uh, since 2000 uh, that Oklahoma's won, won 10 plus uh, games and uh, that's tied for most in the country and so that is the standard and expectation here I don't again I don't uh, you know take it uh, lightly I understand that's what the again the expectation is and uh, a lot of people have been able to do that a lot of teams have uh, but it's still hard to do and it still takes what it takes and I love just the season that uh, these guys have, you know, up to this point in time have have um, have put together, and um, nothing easy about it. So uh, obviously we have a lot of superlatives to uh, to celebrate. Um, several of them, you know, Dylan uh, supplanting himself at fourth in you know college football history, and uh, you know with touchdown uh, uh, touchdown passes, and he's past several former Sooners uh, as well and in his career uh, passing touchdowns and total touchdowns. He's he's just been, you know, fantastic, but so have the guys around him. You know, Gavin had a, another 100-plus yes yard game and Drake Stoops, I think he's caught 38 catches the last four games and um, had a career high 12 for 100-plus and uh, just, you know, a fantastic job. And again, the offense, um, I think, they're the only team in the country uh, right now offensively to score at least 59 points uh, four, four games this season. So what they've been able to do is, uh, is special and uh, uncommon. And so just wanted to recognize them for, again, the achievement where we're at right now and still staying hungry and motivated for, you know, whatever comes next. And uh, But really, again, thankful for our guys, again, their response. And, and we had a uh, you know, team meeting last night where we were able to watch several videos of our from our seniors' families and you know, a special message, and it's a big moment, you know, in their life, and it's just really the beginning of the next chapter of their life, and so to keep them, I'm locked in and focused, and uh, staying desperate for the, you know, the moment is not a you know, again, I don't take that for granted either, and I just love that this is a group of guys that have been committed to finishing what they started. And, uh, you know, another, again, a, a really good, strong win. TCU is playing good football here uh, the last, you know, half of the season. season. And um, had some moments where we could, you know, take complete and total control over it. Our offense put tremendous uh, pressure on them. And, and then Billy, uh, Billy Bowman uh, does what he's done all years, tied for the – you know, nation's lead with six uh, interceptions and the three pick sixes are the most in Oklahoma history with a bunch of amazing defensive backs that have played here. And, uh, you know, an OU record for his, uh, his return yards uh, as well. You know, he's dynamic with the ball in his hands, but really proud of him. You know, that doesn't just happen by osmosis. He puts a lot of work into it. He's skilled, he's talented, but it takes a lot more than that. And uh, he's put a lot of work uh, into uh, his his um, in, into this game. So uh, again, just thankful again for the players. Their again, their sacrifice, their work, and uh, getting to number ten. Can you just take us through then what the week was like for Dylan, and then the preparation, and to see him be as effective and efficient as he was today? Uh, I didn't. I kind of forgot that he was uh, <laughs> he was on the mend after last weekend uh, until you just said that. But uh, again, he again he. Uh, was really limited uh, for the first part of the week and he you know passed certain protocols during the course of the week and doctors just say hey, here's what he can do at practice here's what he can't do and uh, you know no surprise he's as competitive and 
tough-minded and uh, determined of a, of a young man that I've been around. And uh, and like I said, he's uh, when you get into the game and he's the things that he brings to the table is uh, his ability to execute at a really high level. He's very accurate uh, today, and um, his decision making was just on point. And he's able to run the ball, extend plays, throw the ball away. Uh, he was again just uh, fabulous. You know, really all day today. Thanks, coach. Yep. Hey, Brent, uh, your defense, you know, was struggling sometimes, but your mm -hmm. offense always answered. What that mean to you today when you knew that your offense would come back and get your points back? Yeah. No. And you're you're right. Um, I think TCU punted. Um, five times and they turned it over on downs and uh, these in the first half and uh, you know had a bunch of possessions in the first half I think we um, I think we defended five or, or um, uh, nine possessions in the first half uh, that's a lot uh, and but uh, you know we obviously gave up a short touchdown off the muff punt and then they had one good drive there uh, where they scored a touchdown, then we were able to hold them to a field goal right before half. So pretty solid, uh, um, probably a little better than solid in the first half, and then just abysmal um, and an abomination to football. Uh, three straight drives, and then kind of had a uh, we responded, and I think turned it over on downs, and then and then Billy uh, picks him off the next drive, and then again, uh, you know bunch of young guys out there we let them go back down there again and, and score so disappointed in some ways but uh you know a lot to uh, to teach from and get better and and again just learning coming out of the locker room i, I we take great pride and and we've been really good in the third quarter all season long and we were really bad on defense in the third quarter and uh but offense they put tremendous pressure with their ability to execute, making plays, running, throwing. Now they put great pressure, you know, and the opponent is a team game. There's three phases, and so sometimes we try to segment, um, you know, the team and uh, appropriately. But at the same time, you know, it is a team game, and and uh, you know, so I think the third quarter in particular, the offense compensated as opposed to complemented the defense, and uh, we needed them to do it today. And, Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, at what point do you know Dylan was going to play? And then talk about the fact, I guess, you guys came out really aggressive throwing deep on them. I guess you knew they were vulnerable in the secondary. Yeah, Thursday. I know this is a Saturday, right? We're on the same page there. This is actually Saturday, but it was actually Thursday of the of the real week. And, um, yeah, that's yesterday. Yeah. So, like, just so you know, when uh, you're a coach, um, you literally – you're living in dog years. So the last 24 hours seems like two weeks. I don't know if the math is right, but that's how it seems. So, yeah, that and was this, yesterday. And this is just where you guys attacked him deep. You came out throwing deep, even though you knew you didn't know he was going to play until yesterday, basically. Yeah, well, again, that was the game plan. We felt that there's um, opportunity and there's some vulnerability there. And so whoever's going to be the trigger man, um, you know, is going to be – those plays were going to be called. Brent, what has what Dylan meant to this program when you look back when he came in? Yeah. Time he did? Stability, consistency, um, leadership, uh, and he's made everybody around him better. You know, he's got that multiplier effect uh, where I think, you know, when you can reproduce who you are, I think that's a real sign of leadership. And, uh, and he'll attract that, you know, when people watch us play or – getting, you know, as Jackson was able to sit back and watch uh, him along the way this year, you know, that, you know, there's a lot that, you know, I know Jackson received. And um, so that's what leadership looks like. It's it's not a position, it's action, and it's doing. And uh, so couldn't have had a better example for not only uh, Jackson, but for uh, for everybody. Brent, to clarify, was, was Dylan in concussion protocol in the early part of the week? Yeah. Brent, I know nothing is for sure, but with all the good things that Dylan has done, not only this season, but today, is there any part of you that just wants to have a conversation and say, are you sure you don't want to come back or try to come back for another year? Is he in here right now? We're going to have this conversation right now. Uh, no, everything has its time. Brent, you got Gentry Williams back today. 
uh, and he, he looked like he was hampered in the second half. What's that journey been for Gentry the last three or four weeks, just trying to get him back on the field? Yeah, I'm sure it's been frustrating for him. And um, uh, But, man, he is so tough, and he loves to play. He's a pleaser. He's got tremendous ceiling. Um, but, I'm, again, he's just a young guy trying to figure out how to play and then just try to stay healthy. That's a light, lot to fight through. Um, but he's better because of it. And um, again, he got a got a great great future. Brent, you, you mentioned uh, the, the offense in the third quarter having to do what they did, and I want to ask you about the the back to back plays that Drake Drake made, tiptoeing on the sidelines, mm. the touchdown fighting for the uh, extra yards. Just what stood out to you about those, and how important was, were those? Yeah, Dan coaches kids, uh, you know, yeah, no, it's they were huge. That's what he's done. Uh, when I was at Clemson, you know, I'd watch and, you know, he'd motion over there and I'm like, all right, he's gonna, it's going to be a pass. And nope, he's coming in there to crack somebody with the motion. And man, he would do the dirty work. Uh, I remember watching him from and just kind of snickering because that's, you know, uh, Carol's, his mama talking about, you know, throwing him and Isaac the ball and the trampoline, you know, practicing catches and them getting mad saying, I don't want you to throw the easy ones. Make me die for it. And uh, that's literally a conversation um, she shared, you know, with us. You know, throw the hard ones. And that's, he makes all the hard ones look easy, doesn't he? And, uh, again, I would just say I don't, I don't take that for granted. Um, Timing-wise, he's always been right on time since he's been, uh, since he's been given his opportunity here. That's if 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 his career's defined, you know, and used a word. There's lots of really good words you could use, but timely uh, is is one of them. You know, everything he's done from a production standpoint, it's been right on time when we've needed it the most. And it makes it, he makes it look so easy that sometimes you can look right past that and you look at maybe the actual touchdown catch or the actual touchdown run, but it was that play within the drive. And that's who he's been, man. He's Mr. Reliable. We're at the fourth down that wound up being an option. Same drive, I think, that we were talking about previously. Um, that was a big decision, really, on the manner in which you were going to go try and win the game. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that you'd do it a month ago, a year ago. Um, why'd you do it? What was the thinking? Lots of reasons. Um, one, because the offense was playing so well. And uh, uh, and I liked the matchup. And, and then, two, it felt like, two, we, we needed it. You know, uh, we were not didn't have good control on the defensive side of the ball. And um, we needed it. Brandon, this doesn't break right for you the rest of the weekend in terms of the Big 12. Well, how much lament will there be about it? No, I don't, I don't live like that. And I, we get what we've earned, and, and <coughs> what's done is done. You learn from it. And I'll use this moment, this season, and those moments um, and to teach. We already have. You know, to teach and learn. This is, this is the game that – this is what the game – punishes you for and this is what the game honors you for and uh and all of us will all learn through that so but i don't i don't again i don't know what the lament means but i'm sure it means something very appropriate but i i don't know what that means but i don't i don't i don't look back and i'm i'm all i was all, i'm still mad about what happened so I'm, whether that was disappointed or mad about what happened several weeks ago i don't sit here and throw it in the player's face right now um we we did that already in the coach's face you know we learned from it and got better from it and moved on and don't let that you know beat us again or define us that's a chapter in a book you got a whole book and uh, but that's one and it's an important one and uh so uh you know i believe in, in god's will and and you know uh and i believe in eyes forward on a, on a similar note, how do you guys kind of handle the next 30 hours as you kind of play the game? I don't know, enjoy this win. Uh, do what I do every, you know, after every game, be with family and watch games and, you know, not get too uptight. And, you know, just it's going to work out exactly like it's supposed to work out. Me hoping or, you know, guys in the locker room talking about what's that called uh, when you – Manifest it. You know, we can. Sounds good in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I, it's going to have any effect on it or not. So, uh, anyway, I and mean, we 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 lost that power. 
And that's how I look at it. We lost that power, and um, you know, but you know, the greatest asset we have right now is our own mindset. And again, perspective. And so again, just take care of yourself. That's what I told the players: take care of yourself. Um, you know, you better be ready um, for a mental Monday, uh, and be ready to, you know, get in here and. Uh, watch some film and get ready for, you know, Arlington too. You know, that's got to be your mindset right now as opposed to, you know, bowl game. You know, we don't know what, you know, the, the next uh, 48 hours is going to look like. So stay ready. Keep your mind right. Make good decisions. And uh, and then, you know, if we, if we don't uh, have things go our way where we're playing in Arlington next week, they'll have – players will have, you know, the week off from, you know, all football, you know, related activities and we'll get things together as a staff and, and uh, get to recruiting and all that kind of stuff. So. You mentioned the bats, the, the defense, mm -hmm. and I know that bothers you. Why, why the slippage, things that you were – early in the year was pretty good at the last few weeks? Well, again, I thought the – again, I thought one drive in the first half was bad and a whole bunch of great drives in the first half. So there's not slippage there. The other team actually – pretty good on offense so I, I always have that perspective the slippage in the in the second half that was really bad uh, I can't say other than you know it's third and three and, and you know your man outside releases and you know you're in phase you got to turn on they're, they're going to throw the ball and so don't be surprised so we relaxed and we missed tackles and we missed some fits and it wasn't just one guy, uh, so I can't I can't say. You know, I look at every week as a, a kind of a season of its own, and and in, in this case, I'm even looking in the half. You know, you came. I don't know what the halftime you know uh, numbers were. I just look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drives, and you know we gave up a short touchdown drive for 19 yard drive after the muff punt we gave up a, a really bad drive eight for 75 and then we went punt punt downs punt and then a, a, a stop and we started the game uh we deferred they got the ball first punt and then the next drive punt so i look at that too you know i don't uh, at the end of the day so, so it's easy for people outside whether 38 points 500 yards or 45 points whatever and and that don't none of that's good either and, but I, I look at, okay, what happened, all right? Miss, we missed the tackle. Two missed tackles on two long runs by the safety. You get one-on-one. -on -one. I, can't, I can't just crap another defender. That's your job. You're the guy. You're the fitter. You make the play. And we got to do a better job helping them tackle and vice it and, uh, you know, long stride to short stride. And we got to drill it. And, you know, but we, we this is a game of doing an execution too. And so I look at that. What, what if we're, you know, what – Responsibility. All of it is, is starts with us as coaches, and then you know we in a bad call, we put them in a tough position, and uh, if so, fix it. You know, uh, don't do that. And uh, but you know we got to we got to do a better job from an execution at times too. And good teams will will punish you, and that's what happened. They got good players. That back can is really explosive, makes you miss uh, in the hole, and, and we got to get better. You know, and say, well, is this late in the season? I get that, okay, but you can always get better. You just go right back to work and you, uh, you know, try to get better, try to teach these guys, and, you know, because we still got more football to play. Brent, there's, 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 several, several, there's several uh, reports out there that Jeff's a pretty serious candidate for the Mississippi State job. Have you had any conversations with him about that, and what's maybe your role? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm, I, I want all my guys to have opportunity, and I'll support them in, in whatever way I can. And, uh, you know, and, you know, my charge to all the, uh, the staff, all the staff, is to everything has its time. Uh, some of it's not uh, ideal time. Uh, you know, stay focused and locked in to what we got to do. That's what our players deserve. And uh, don't be a distraction. And... Uh, you know, but I'm I'm for all my guys have an opportunity to you know advance their careers. Brent, we've heard about brother-in-law defense all of our life. Any irony in Jeff going against Kendall today? And <laughs> we had that kind of defense out on the field. Oh man, I didn't. I forgot they were they're related uh, through marriage. Um, well, Jeff got the best of him. Um, uh, so um, I don't really have any other. I'm sure they'll have. Uh, some good laughs because um, they both had some success today. So I'm sure they'll they'll have some laughs over a cold Pepsi or something. You were part of a pileup. Yeah. Game pileup. Yeah. 
um, <laughs> exactly what I thought. What are we doing here? You know, but uh, I got to keep my feet. And uh, so somehow we, I didn't keep my feet. And then probably 5,000 pounds uh, fell on top of me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to get so made fun of, especially if we don't win. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty embarrassing. But it was just, I literally thought in the moment, this is how people die in those things. Because I've always thought, like, how, how can you not just get up? Like, you hear people, and again, I'm not making light in any way, but, you know, people that go to these concerts or whatever, and somebody, something happens, and, oh, you know, and people are trampled to death. That's a real thing. Thing. It's horrific and I didn't think I was going to die but it was a very real thing my face kept getting shoved further and further in the ground and you could feel one person after another I said this is going to keep happening and it was just like I don't know this is kind of what I envisioned and I just kept getting shoved further and further in the ground I was like you got to be freaking kidding me <laughs> this is really happening right now that's, that's what I thought and I was pissed <laughs> not in anybody just pissed <laughs> so. Huh? Who let you up? Lit me up? I mean, did anybody help you up? Or, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I have no idea. So, yeah. Thanks, Brent. Yeah. Thanks, Brent. Be a gift for somewhere, right? I know, yeah. You're going to be in protocol. I definitely won't be in protocol. <laughs> All right. Appreciate everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks.